Here in West Michigan, some of you are seeing snow, mostly people to the south and at the lakeshore. But in Grand Rapids, it's just cold. And according to Storm Team 8, it's going to stay that way, right, Emily? Yeah, the cold <laughs> has settled in officially. It really started to settle in yesterday, and it's going to be staying with us through the weekend into next week. In fact, this point next week looks very similar to what we're seeing right now. So no major fluctuations in our temperatures coming, just a lot of cold weather with some snow chances sprinkled in too. Here's the view all across West Michigan. And for the most part, all four of these camera views are showing that we do have drier conditions working their way in. Not everyone is seeing that though. Inland areas starting to see a little bit of clearing, especially as you go down to the southeast of Kalamazoo. But at the lakeshore, north of there, we are still seeing the cloud cover and we're still seeing a little bit of light snow. Now, a lot of the snow has tapered off. So areas like Muskegon dropped from the winter weather advisory, but the southwest corner of the state especially is still dealing with that snow coming down. So South Haven down to the south and to the west through Berrien County, that's where we're still seeing some more of that snow that's leading to visibility issues and making things slick out on the roadways. Our future cast does show that it's those same areas that have the best chance of seeing continuing snow through the afternoon. So going through the future cast here, you'll notice we still have that chance of snow from Ottawa County down to the south with spots like South Haven, Benton Harbor, likely to see the most snow from this event. Overnight, that band of snow starts to push out over the lake. So it comes to an end and skies start to clear out for inland spots. Tomorrow morning, still a little bit of cloud cover out there heading through the rest of the day, we should continue to see those clouds break apart. Then we head into Saturday, the clouds move right back in, and we are going to have another storm system approach. That one is set to impact more of West Michigan than just the Lakeshore counties. For today, here's what we're thinking in terms of additional snowfall. It's really those areas south of Holland that still have a chance of seeing one to two inches of accumulation. As you go to the north, a lot of that snow has come to an end. And of course, inland areas are not forecast to be impacted by the snow. It's just the cold. Heading into the weekend, here's a look at what's heading our way. That clipper system moves through on Saturday, and that will give us a chance of some snow accumulation. Doesn't look like huge amounts, but we could see a few inches of fresh snow. Then Sunday, this is a day to keep our eyes on because this forecast model takes a lot of that snow south of Grand Rapids at least, gives areas like I-94 down to the south a better chance of seeing that accumulation. Other forecast models try to bring that snow farther to the north, so we'll be watching the track of that storm really closely as it gets closer. Temperatures right now only at 16 in Big Rapids, 19 in Greenville. We're at 20 in Kalamazoo. We should make it close to 20 still this afternoon. But as our skies clear out tonight, those temperatures are going to get really cold. And a lot of areas will end up right around zero, could have some spots that drop below zero. For the weekend, we'll at least be in the mid-20s. 25 on Saturday, a few degrees cooler on Sunday. And again, we'll be keeping our eyes on that storm system for Sunday. Another clipper system set to impact us later Monday into Tuesday. So this should be a good forecast for the snow lovers out there. Getting a little active there. Nothing, <laughs> you know, too bad, but there's some action. Yeah, absolutely. Just some snow chances sprinkled in here and there. And I think that one later Monday into Tuesday could produce a little bit more. So oh. we'll be watching that one closely too. Thanks, Emily.